Hi, I'm Patrick van der Meer, Visual Coach, and we're going to add a view model to our view. And let's add an extra folder to do that. And that's going to be the view model models folder. And there needs to be a view model in there. And that's for just a class. And naming conventions tell me that we'd like to do the same name start view model okay fine so far so good it has to be public and this is going to be injected into the start view uh, that's what we can do with uh, this nice little uh, new baby called Maui start view model view model now let's resolve that of course and then uh, we have to use it so now uh, there's no data context it's called binding context over here so this binding context is the view model so now in XAML you can use that actually. Good, 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 good. But this is injected. So where did, did we put it into some kind of an IOC container? Well, that IOC container is actually already there. Uh, yeah, it is uh, in the Maui app. There it is. So we have a builder. And it has services and we can add uh, in this case a transient but you could take a single film if it's only one but I like to reuse that view model sometimes so have a second view open whatever so uh, it has to have that uh, start view model resolve and then the first line of code is ready. But we also need a second line of code. And that actually has the view. Now, this is more or less enough. Uh, but we're going to add the MVVM uh toolkit the the community toolkit mvm because it's such a unique nice product let's add from the nugget packages let me pick something really good and uh, let's try this again yeah let's go and find the two community toolkit mvvm there we are and let's install that with the demo app because this will save us a lot of time typing things it has a code generator oh, and I'm so happy with that so let's first make this inherit from observable object which comes of course from the community toolkit to make this work pro properly it has to be a partial and we're gonna have a constructor and now we need of course properties we need a variable like a string called title and you see that I don't type a capital in front of it because I'm going to use another neat trick uh, of this toolkit an observable property and if you hover over the, uh, the, the observable property it generates this code this type of code so this is all I need to do and now I have a bindable property with a capital so if I 
use that magically. I can just add a string over here and say, hey, um, hello from view model. Wow. Well, of course, I have to use the title. So let's go to start view. And let's say we bind the title over here. To title. This is still just from the, the normal text. But this is going to be the new text. Um, for now, I think we are done. We have added over here. We have the toolkit. Let's run this. We'll take another couple of seconds again. I'll another make a, another jump into the future. And we are jumping right ahead. That was a few seconds. Okay, hello from view model. Start views from the views folder. Oh, wow. Now, I'm going to do one more thing, although it is not needed. Uh, no, I'm not doing it. Next video.